Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. Uh, this is going to be a Pisces reading for March 31st to April 2nd, 2021. And I do apologize for the delay in reading. It's because I'm a college student again, so, you know, I have to do homework first because there's due, lines and deadly, uh, due dates and deadlines, and then I can do my YouTube videos. So, yeah. Um, but, all right, guys, there's a whole bunch of Pisces out there. This is not going to be every single Pisces story. Take what's yours, give the rest alone. Also, feel free to swap around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. Pisces, March 31st to April 2nd, 2021. Pisces. One more shuffle. Pisces, March 31st to April 2nd, 2021. Pisces. So you could be dealing with some soulmates. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be a friendship. Um, but I feel like it's more in the relationship field. It's someone that you've been probably waiting for with that TikTok. Yeah, orphaned. Someone that you've been waiting for. Someone that you're at a distance from. Um, they could be they could be waiting for you, right? Take that how it resonates. But with that orphan, you guys could be at a distance, could be physical distance, emotional distance, or just texting every other day, every once in a while. Um, but I feel like you're standing still here. You're kind of trying to see if maybe the situation cleans itself up. Meanwhile, the person that you're dealing with, they probably could be focused on their happiness. Um you guys could be, even if you guys are separated with this loyal heart here, I feel like, you know, you guys have some sort of love for each other. Um, but this does not seem like it's over with that unfinished symphony. I feel like you guys just have to learn peace, individual peace, you know, not to overthink, not to worry. Um, your intuition could be telling you that this person either has to leave a situation or you have to leave things behind. And go back to your true self. Um, it could be them, you know, where it's like, um, with that no place like home, it could be them as in getting off drugs. Or it could be them um, returning back to their true self. Like, you know, maybe they were trying to impress their friends for a little bit. And they're starting to detach from their friends and do what's best for them. Uh, take that how it resonates. It could be every person's situation is going to be different. So Pisces, March 31st to April 2nd, 2021 Pisces. March 31st to April 2nd, 2021, Pisces. You versus them, one more time, Pisces. Time to decide. So you guys could be overthinking, and um, it's time to make a decision now. Raise your vibration. You guys also have to think more positive world energy. So I feel like the whole world, and it's true, we did have that uh, Libra new moon, or that full moon, I believe. It was this past weekend. Um, that was supposed to balance things out for a lot of people. For people's relationships, friendships, and um, family relationship dynamics. But you should be trying to keep a positive mindset. I feel like everything you've been through happened for a reason. It was so you could kind of help people and telling people like what you've learned along the way. And I feel like you've learned a lot of wisdom through that. Um, embrace that wisdom as you have the knowledge to help people around you. Uh, I feel like this is just a lesson of patience here right now. Your prayers have been heard and they are being answered. Meanwhile, your person, I feel like they're working on their happiness. And if they feel like they need to do X, Y, and Z to be happy, that's fine. But I feel like it's more of a choice. You know, they have to just choose to be happy regardless of what they go through. So that their inner beauty can shine. You know, they are a brilliant example of, you know, the most highest love. And everything about them is perfect. So they need to let their inner light shine and inspire other people. They shouldn't be, you know, wallowing in depression. And neither should you, should you be. So let's see, Pisces, uh, March 31st to April 2nd, 2021, Pisces. March 31st to April 2nd, 2021, Pisces. You versus them, one more shuffle. So Nine of Cups, so love could be coming in rather slowly. Um, you might not be seeing it, but right now I feel like with that Three of Cups, you guys are learning how to uh, take control of the people around you. You know, it's like hanging out with people, but not letting them influence your decisions. Uh, with that Emperor card there, I feel like that's majority of what you guys are learning right now. Meanwhile, I feel like there's a decision you have to make here with that Hermit card. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Taurus. Um, any sign for that matter, or a Sagittarius, a Gemini, 
any time. But I feel like, you know, you have to make a choice here. You know, you've been spending a lot of time alone. Uh, you could be wanting a long-term relationship, wanting, you know, your next relationship to end up in marriage. But I feel like, you know, there's, you've just been patient. You've been working on yourself. This could be something you've been waiting for. So you need to make a decision, you know, do you still want this with this person if they've changed? Um, you might not be seeing here that this person is still coming in because of all the fears, the doubt, and the hesitation. But I feel like that has a lot to do with just overthinking. Um, this person is coming in from what it looks like. It's just, you know, it's the Knight of Cups, it's coming in slowly. This person could be very good on their own. And so with that World card, it's kind of like... Um, this is just a cycle of you guys taking care of individual responsibilities. Introspection, yeah. Looking at yourself. See, King, Queen of Pentacles, taking care of yourselves. And then you guys are learning balance so you guys can move forward. Because I say that often. You don't want someone that's half a person and then half a person because then that's codependent and toxic. It's like, I need you versus um, having someone that's whole and complete by themselves you also hold and complete by yourself, then you guys can help each other out and it's like a team. Here, I feel like your person misses you. They learned a lot of lessons in this relationship. And with that Seven of Cups, um, let's see. Seven of Cups, Pisces, March 31st, April 2nd. Seven of Cups, Pisces. So they could get a lot of attention, you know, so... It makes them feel like kind of a little bit confused because they have a lot of options. But with that Empress card, I feel like this is something they're learning how to control. With that Eight of Pentacles, I feel like they're learning how to um, concentrate in... Well, they're learning... They're starting to concentrate on this relationship. With that Eight of Swords upside down, they could be kind of drowning in the details. Where it's like they're starting to overthink about being in a relationship with you. Um, this could be like a boyfriend and girlfriend type of dynamic. Also, it doesn't have to be like a marriage, but I feel like this person, you know, they're wanting to have like a boyfriend and girlfriend relationship, but there's overthinking here because they're focusing too much on this. What's the lover's card? Pisces, March 31st, April 2nd. The lover's card, Pisces. So this person could be wanting a future with you. What's the higher thing? Um, but again, they feel like they have too much responsibilities. The two of pentacles upside down. But that's their overthinking. Two of pentacles upside down. And they also, they learned their lesson with juggling you. You know, they don't really want to make you um, not a priority. With that Five of Cups, that's a regret of theirs. You know, it's like they want to pay more attention to you. Um, they're learning how to be happy with you. In the past, they probably were like, you know, they thought they had to do things to be happy. But it's like now they're realizing they could just be themselves and be with you. And they could just be happy, period. They could just choose to be happy. They don't have to do X, Y, and Z to make them happy. They could just choose to be happy. And that allows their inner beauty to shine, you know, where it's like choosing to be positive in every single situation they're in. What's the hermit card? So you could be kind of, you have like no hope in this situation, where it's like you don't have faith or hope. It's the four of wands, I see. And it's, it's like you could be wanting a lot of, you want a long-term relationship with them. You could be even wanting marriage, but the hurt, is causing you to have doubt. What's the temperance card? Sagittarius, March 31st, April 2nd, 2021. So, but it looks like you just have to wait for a relationship to happen. This is just a lesson for you also to learn patience, both of you guys, and for you guys to learn self-love, inner happiness, self-happiness. You know, not just depending on someone else to make you happy, because that's a very selfish thing. To rely on someone to make you happy or to make you feel better is very selfish, you know, because there's going to be times when they can't. So I feel like, you know, to let go, you need to let go of the fear, the doubt, the hesitation, the lack of faith, and just be patient. Um, and just, you know, in this time, learn how to love yourself, because I feel like a relationship is going to happen just with that judgment card. Um, this is more like 
you have to decide. Judgment card again, please. You have to decide. Let me see what's that judgment card. Um, you guys kind of have to talk about the shadiness that's going on. So there's a decision to be made here about maybe someone that stole from you in the past, that lied to you in the past. What's the Seven of Swords? Pisces, March 31st, April 2nd. Seven of Swords. Okay, so Seven of Swords, the Sun card, Pisces. This person could have stole your, your happiness in the past by, you know, messing with your independence. Um... Again, this is something that you guys have to talk about. Like maybe whenever you're, you you want to be by yourself or you want to be happy by yourself or vice versa, it's like this person always messes with you or tries to sabotage it. You know, that's something that has to be worked on. Um, I feel like this can be a long-term relationship. Again, you know, it's just this person not making you a priority um, with that five of cups is a regret of theirs because, you know, they kind of taught you how to be independent it kind of taught you how to do your own thing. So you could be kind of, again, having a lack of faith, a lack of hope. This is just a lesson where you are supposed to learn how to be happy by yourself. Now they need to learn how to be happy by themselves. So Pisces, um, it's not saying that you guys are not going to be together. It's just patience, okay? This is so you guys can clean this situation up. So it's not codependent anymore. Um, so again, you know, there's a decision that has to be made here about what you guys really do want and you know don't be afraid to dream big don't think like oh i just want this person no if you want a family with this person you want them for life you know think about that you know tell yourself that and, and stand by your commitment if it's like you know you want better for yourself you want someone better well then tell yourself that i deserve better and stand by your commitment so pisces march 31st day per second last shuffle there's a lot of passion here. You know, this could have been a strong sexual connection um, that you guys kind of need to have a lot of forgiveness and learning here in order for you guys to continue to have this. I mean, maybe you guys met this person when you guys were having a hope phase, when you guys were talking to a lot of people and vice versa. And so it's like, you know, now you guys have to kind of cut off the other people and learn how to be good by yourselves. Pisces, March 31st, April 2nd, 2021, Pisces. March 31st, April 2nd, 2021, Pisces. Chemistry. So there's a strong magnetic attraction here. It's like you guys are being drawn back together. And it could be because of the passion. You, got, you know, you guys are both attracted to each other. You guys could both get along. And here it's saying that this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you see. You know, it's just changes have to be made here. Pisces, March 31st, April 2nd, 2021, Pisces. Okay, I guess that's all. Playfulness. So you guys need to be more playful. Um, that way the inner youthful spirit of fun can shine. You know, push each other on the swings. Um, play a board game together. You know, that way the fun, you know, the spark can grow again. Pisces, March 31st, April 2nd, 2021, Pisces. I wish things could be different. You see, they're, they're learning how to be happy by themselves. And their intuition could be telling them that, you know, you guys are still going to end up back together. Um, when they hear music, they still think about you, Pisces. It was their fault, but they blamed you. And this is something with that eight of swords upside down that they can't stop thinking about. See, my life is not together as it seems. You know, they're working on uh, fixing things in their own life. They bury themselves in work to forget you. But I do feel like, you know, they haven't really let you go. They're just learning how to be happy. And they're taking care of their responsibilities. Um, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. You know, if you think they moved on, they haven't. They're just taking care of their responsibilities. You know, they, they had to let you go. That way they could focus on, you know, their own stuff, the stuff that they had to take care of. But, um, again, they wish things could be different. I feel like, you know, they still want this connection. It's just right now you guys are kind of in a cycle where you guys are learning how to be independent, where you guys are having to take care of yourselves. But either way, I feel like this person still has not let you go. 
they still want you back, but you know, they could be kind of focusing too much on this as well as trying to take care of their responsibilities. Uh, but all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close it out here. If this resonates with you guys, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.